everything is looking fantastic. As I said, we're already at altitude. We're at 46,000 feet right now, and just a beautiful. Now, to date, fewer than 700 people have traveled to space, and not only that, but the rich diversity of humankind is still really here for our future astronauts. Now, speaking of our future astronauts, JR, how are we looking? Well, we are about three, uh, four and a half minutes out from release. That's uh, an estimate based on our expected time of arrival at the release point, and that gets t uh, closer and closer to being accurate as we g get closer and closer to that release point. So at this point, four and a half minutes out, that's a fairly accurate estimate. All right, you know, space flight is not just a trip to space. This is really the air, the time when the anticipation builds. <laughs> All you're thinking about is that release point and getting into that boost and honestly getting into space. It's gonna just, yes. it's so exciting. And I just heard the L minus four checks are uh, complete. So as you, as you just mentioned that release point, the right after that, the crew lights the rocket motor and Unity's trajectory to space starts in that uh, horizontal release position before turning towards space, a maneuver that we refer to as the gamma turn. And then the rest of the rocket motor burn occurs in the vertical. We're now two minutes out from release. The rocket motor boost was one of my favorite parts of the flight. Seeing the Earth drop away and seeing space come into view is just absolutely exciting. One, release, release, release. Ignition. Good control. There's Mach 1. The pilots have started trimming for that turn towards space. Trim is now set. There is max Q. That's the point of maximum pressure exerted on the vehicle by the atmosphere. Those on board are experiencing about three Gs right now and traveling over a thousand miles an hour. That's incredible. I can imagine they're having quite a great time. We're at Mach 2. We're in the vertical headed towards space. This is the part where they're seeing Earth move away and seeing space come into view and seeing that they're going to space and just, it is an incredible feeling. The so we've got about Mach 2.8 Eight, Mach 3 approximately, and rocket motor cut off. Amazing. The crowds here are just <laughs> absolutely going wild. I can't imagine what's happening in Antigua with them cheering them on. That's Incredible. Awesome. Go Keisha, go Anna, <laughs> go John. So everybody on board has been cleared to unstrap and enjoy that zero G experience. The pilots have unlocked the feather. That's the preparation so that they can raise the feather here momentarily. They're engaging the RCS as well. The feather is now starting to move on its way up. Everyone's up out of their seats. Just oh, it's incredible. They're the all, experience. I know, they're, it's, in, it's amazing. They're all going to the window and taking in this just absolutely time. And they are officially astronauts. Welcome to space. Woo. Congratulations to John, to Keisha, to Anna on becoming astronauts today. And a special congratulations to our Unity pilot, Kelly, for her first space flight. And welcome back to space, CJ and Beth. And the vehicle is oriented in that that back flipper, that upside down maneuver from our perspective. Uh, and you can, so when we talk about space travel, right, with a, the boost, everybody recognizes that as, as exciting and thrilling, but the reentry is actually quite thrilling as well. And we have shock waves that uh, stand, form over the top. As they come back and return to Spaceport America. So we've passed below 60,000 feet. Uh, once we get to about 53 to 55,000 feet, we'll command the feather down. That'll, um, result in the 7,500 feet. Amazing. Again, I've said this before many times, but the crew have this incredible view, not only of the New Mexican landscape, but of our spaceport facility, which is this incredible facility where they spent the last few days bonding with their crew and training with their crew. So of course, yeah. holds a special part in their, in their hearts and they get to see that view on their way down. So we're 1,000 feet above the runway. The runway here is about 4,500 feet. We're 500 feet. Pre-flare, that's pulling the nose up and uh, taking advantage of the ground effect. It's extra lift you get when you're close to the ground. We've crossed the threshold. That's the beginning of the runway. Beautiful. 
and touch down to the main gear. Now CJ is going to hold the nose gear up for a little bit. That helps bleed off the uh, energy that the, the spaceship has uh, using the air drag associated with that. Now I started to lower the nose. And the nose gear is now down. So at a designated airspeed, the pilots have the option to apply the brakes or not. They can let the, uh, let the vehicle uh, roll to a stop. We have plenty enough runway here. They are applying the brakes uh, today, so. Um, we have 12,000 feet of runway here 12, at Spaceport America. 12,000 feet of runway <laughs> and 200 feet wide, so plenty of room. <laughs> and full stop. Oh Woo. my gosh, amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. What a beautiful landing. Congratulations to everyone on board. We saw beautiful flying from our EVE crew and brilliant work by our chase pilot, all of whom are still in the air right now.